Hey, perfect students, so perfect to take here, Mr. Kubert CJ. So, we continue looking at our topic, culture. Now, in this video, we are going to look at something different, something really interesting the types of culture and Zambia societal core values. So, let us start with the types of culture. The first one is the mass culture. So, mass culture is the type of culture produced from machines and is consumed on a large scale. So this type of culture is spread through electronic media, for example, television, internet, and all those things. You are able to get some of the behavioral patterns, some of the attitudes from the internet, or just by watching certain movies, you get some ideas there. And you start behaving just like that. So that type of culture is called mass culture. The second one is popular culture. So popular culture is the culture which is a product of changing needs and innovations in people's lifestyles. So this is the type of culture which is linked to fashion. It is linked to what? Fashion. I'll give you an example. These days, like nowadays, is it common to find someone playing songs done by a glorious band, Piquet Shala and all those people? It's not common. And also talk about the way of dressing. When you compare the dress code of nowadays to the dress code of, let me say, about 19, 1980, somewhere there. Is it the same? Not at all. So, this type of culture is linked to fashion, popular culture. The third one is folk culture. Folk culture is also referred to as residual culture. Because it deals with remains of the past. Remains of the past. It deals with things that were happening in the past. We continue looking at the types of culture. Now we have ideal culture. We also have ideal culture. So ideal culture refers to some kind of dreams and aspirations of where a given people would wish to be. Or... A given group of people would wish to be for example the blacks or let me say some of the blacks would wish to be whites and some of the whites would wish to be blacks some of the poor people would wish to be rich and some of the rich people would wish to be poor just like that so it refers to some kind of dreams and aspirations of where a given group of people would wish to be. That is ideal culture. Real culture. Real culture is the actual behavior of people in a society. That's a sleeping at the funeral house until the day of burial. So the actual behavior of people in a society. That is real culture subculture so i want you to pay attention here we have real culture subculture and counterculture you have to notice the difference here so subculture is a way of life or behaving a way of life or behaving which a small group of people belonging to the same culture may portray so we have the real culture which is the main culture but there is this group of people behaving in a different way, in a special way, due to positions or due to certain positions that they have in society. For example, married people. Married people conduct themselves in a different way, in a different way as compared to people who are not married, just like that. So this type of culture, the subculture, is accepted to the main culture of the society. Now let us look at counterculture. Counterculture. I'll start from here. Counterculture. Counterculture represents behavioral patterns, activities, or styles of life portrayed by a group of people who are generally opposed to the generally accepted standard of behavior. So both subculture and counterculture involve groups of people. Now, in subculture, the behavior of this certain group of people is accepted by the main society. But for counterculture, we have a group of people behaving in a certain way, but their behavior 
is not accepted by the many society. So that is the difference between counterculture and subculture. Cultural heterogeneity. Heterogeneity. Hetero means different. Hetero means different. Homo means same. So cultural heterogeneity refers to a society that contains a variety of groups of different races, beliefs, religions, and nationalities. Groups of people of different races, beliefs, religions, and nationalities. Even our culture in Zambia is heterogeneity because we don't have just one group of people with same race, beliefs, religions. No. Here we have Muslims. Maybe we even have Hindus like that. We have people with different races. We have people with different beliefs. We have people with different religions and people with different nationalities, people who come from different countries are in Zambia. So the culture of Zambia is not homogeneity, it's heterogeneity. Homogeneity or homogeneous culture refers to a common culture of people of a similar race, beliefs, religion, and nationality. And nationality. So an example of this is the North African countries, such as Tunisia, Egypt, Libya, and others. These have more than 90% of people who share the same race, same religion, and nationality. So we may classify their culture to be homogenate somehow. To be homogenate. When you go there, a lot are Muslims. A lot are Muslims. So that is cultural homogeneity. Cultural homogeneity.